electromagnetic induction. The diagram shows the electromagnetic induction in a straight wire. When the wire is moved downwards, the galvanometer needle is deflected momentarily, indicating that a current is induced in the straight wire. When the wire is moved upwards, the galvanometer needle is deflected momentarily in the opposite direction, indicating that an induced current flows through the solenoid in the opposite direction. If the wire is moved parallel to the magnetic field, the galvanometer needle remains in the center zero position, indicating that no current is produced. If the wire is held stationary in the magnetic field, the galvanometer needle remains in the center zero position, indicating that no current is induced in the wire. The observation of the experiment shows that current is induced in a straight wire when there is relative motion between the conductor and a magnet. The direction of the induced current in a straight wire at right angle to the magnetic field can be worked out using Fleming's right hand rule. The thumb and the first two fingers on the right hand are held at right angles to each other, with the first finger pointing in the direction of the field, and the thumb in the direction of motion, then the second finger points in the direction of the induced current. A wire PQ is moved vertically downwards in a magnetic field. Applying Fleming's right hand rule, the induced current will flow from P to Q. Thank you for taking time to watch this.